Hey everybody, this is Ebony and welcome back to my channel, Everything Eb. So, this is a video I have been um, thinking about and talking about making probably since my surgery or even before. Um, but before I get into any of that, if this is your first time running across one of my videos, my name is Ebony. I had gastric bypass surgery on Friday, February the 5th of 2021. I am 13 months out a year. Um, and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Consider sticking around. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, I just appreciate everybody and all of your support. So, um, as I said, I had gastric bypass on Friday, February the 5th of 2021. And I've been saying probably since that day, or like I said, maybe even before, that I would probably do a video about my why. I think it's important that everybody realizes what their why is. Um, and that that's important to them. It's going to be different for everybody. But it came a point in time where I had to do it. I've said on this channel several times that I'm not a person who steps out of her comfort zone, typically. More now than I did before. But I usually don't. And I'm sorry if you all can hear music. Um, it's cars driving by outside with loud music. But hopefully it's not um, too much. But I'm a person who doesn't ever really like to step out of my comfort zone. I'll stay at the same job forever because I'm comfortable and I'm used to it. Um, I don't know. I really don't. And with this surgery, that was probably the biggest thing I've ever done to step out of my comfort zone in my entire life probably will be um but you never know but anyway my highest weight was 324 pounds my weight the day of surgery was 278 pounds and I have not weighed myself since the last video and I was 275 pounds y'all know I meant 175 pounds you all know that my birthday was two weeks ago, and then my girl's trip was this past weekend, so I've been living, eating, drinking, partying, everything else, so I figure um, I don't even need to try to weigh myself because I'm sure I haven't lost any weight. So um, I'm back at it. So hopefully next uh, Fitness Friday video, I will have a weight update for you. I don't know. I do have a goal for this month, and that's to lose at least five pounds. I am down a hundred, over 150 pounds, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, I think I was 174 the last time I weighed myself. I think I did weigh myself a couple days after that last video. Or 173. I don't remember, y'all. <laughs> But I do know that I was like 150 or 151 pounds. So I guess I did lose two pounds since the last video. But I have a goal. I want to be at least 169 by April 1st. So we'll see if that happens. Like I said, I'm coming towards the end. My weight loss is slowing down. You can tell. I'm also out here doing what I want to do. So that probably has a lot to do with it as well. But we'll talk about that in another video. Like I said, um... I was 324 pounds at my highest. My weight the day of surgery was 278 pounds. And again, I'm about 173, 175. I haven't weighed myself in a couple weeks. Um, oh, and I'm 5'1", between 5 feet and 5'1". So I'm pretty short. So you can imagine how big I was at 324 pounds. If you have not checked out my one year update video, I do have a few before and after pictures in that video. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Again, the topic is my why. Why did I choose to have weight loss surgery? And it's really short. I don't have a whole lot. I'm not going to go real, real deep. I'm just going to be honest with you all. 
so i have notes like always because i forget what i want to say and they help keep me on track a little bit even though i'm always all over y'all know how it is um so looking down i'm looking at my notes i'll put them in front of me maybe that'll be better for you the first one is obviously my health the bigger i got i would always say well i'm still healthy i'm i'm not unhealthy ain't nothing wrong with me i don't have no health problems when that happens I'm going to do something about it or whatever. Not that I never tried to lose weight before because I've tried everything. I've tried Weight Watchers too many times to count. I've done low carb too many times to count in some form. Atkins, South Beach, um, just flat out low carbs, keto. So many times it doesn't even make any sense. And on the low carb ones, of course you lose weight. But as soon as you start eating carbs again, you gain that weight back and some. You know, and I, I have to commend the people that can do it long term or forever or whatever the case is in some form. That was not sustainable for me. None of them worked long term. So, um, of course, I tried to lose weight before, but I just kept stopping, kept giving up, kept falling off the wagon or whatever you want to call it. And it got to a point where my health was an issue i want to say when i was i just turned 43 on the 18th of february and i want to say when i was about 20 let's see i had my last son when i was 24 and he was mm, i don't know maybe four or five or something i was diagnosed with pseudo tumor cerebri which is like a false tumor, which basically, if you haven't heard of it, your brain produces too much of the fluid that protects the brain and the spine, that continues to rotate to protect the brain and the spine from injury. They've now renamed it to idiopathic something, IIH for short. I was diagnosed with that, um, which I later found out it was because I had taken a, a type of birth control that had too much estrogen. Long story short, it's also related to obesity. But because I had the birth control excuse, remember, that didn't, that didn't make me um, realize that, okay, this, this is because of your health. I mean, this is because of your weight. This is affect, something you've always said as long as you don't have any health issues, well, now you do. But because it was really caused more than likely by the birth control, it didn't light a fire in me. So I just continued to yo-yo, 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 yo-yo on all these other diets back and forth. Excuse me, you all, for doing this, but it's hot outside and it's hot in here. I got some baked chicken in the oven. I told y'all I love baked chicken. But anyway, so... um, They did tell me, however, if I lost weight, it would go into remission and more than likely stay there as long as I stayed in a healthy weight range. I remember then I was about 275 pounds. So, um, after that, I just kept doing, you know, yo-yo and whatever, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I would lose a little gain, lose a little gain back and forth, back and forth. So then it got to a point where I was just getting bigger and bigger. And let's see, I had surgery in 2021. I want to say in 2020, I went to my primary doctor and my blood pressure was up. High, high. Well, I guess not crazy, but it was high. Um, We waited. We did it again. And at another time, it was high. So at this point, now I have hypertension or high blood pressure so now i'm on high blood pressure medication okay remember I, i'm healthy i'm healthy even that didn't do it so now i have iih i have high blood pressure so I, i'm still not going off of the excuse or not doing what i said i would do before when i always said i didn't have any health issues so um my blood pressure, I mean, my sugar levels or A1C was always borderline. It was never actually diabetic. It was always right under. And so I was like, okay, but remember, I'm yo-yoing. I'm never thinking I'm just okay at that weight. But 
nothing lit a fire for me nothing i just did not have the willpower or the dedication or whatever it took i didn't have it for me so i looked into the weight loss surgery not even really thinking i would do it because to be truthful i went through a whole consultation and classes and all this stuff way back at least 15 20 years ago and chickened out i didn't do it because remember i don't step out of my comfort zone so i just inquired about it my insurance didn't pay for it so okay so now that's my excuse for not doing that and one day i was just talking to the nurse that we have at my job and i was like too bad they don't pay for the you know bariatric surgery and she was like oh well they are now it's a pilot so it may not last they're trying to test it out but they are so i was like ecstatic so i'm like yes send me the information and at this point and we're now in 2020 i know too many people to count that have gotten either the sleeve or the bypass personally up close and personal i've been there through their whole journey so now i'm not as scared but I'm still not really in my heart planning to do it. But it's worth looking into. I'm at this point. Then um, my insurance requires a six-month weight loss management um, program where you have to go see a weight loss doctor once a month for every... I'm sorry, once a month for six months. You cannot miss any appointments. You have to go every single month for six months. At that point, you can continue to go through that program and you can decide then that you want to have bariatric surgery. First appointment with the weight loss doctor, what do I find out? I now am type 2 diabetic. So, IIH, daily medication, high blood pressure, daily medication, and now type 2 diabetes, Ooh, daily medication. So that was like, you know what? You have to do this. You have to do this. I'm a person that don't do not like to take medication. So it was like, I can't, you have this opportunity, you have to take it. So that was the first thing, my health, obviously my health. The second thing was my um, self-esteem. This is really the only other one because the the other few that I have listed here, they go with this one. I have never had what I would say low self-esteem. I don't care how big I was. I don't care um, growing up, teen years, 20s, never. Never. Um, I never had a problem getting a man. I... I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I know I'm pretty. Never thought I was ugly. I always try to keep myself up. Even when I was raising my kids on my own as a single mother. Yeah, they came first, but I kept myself up as well. And the bigger I got the last quite a few years, to be truthful with you. The bigger I got, the more my self-esteem just started to drop a little bit drop 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 and i didn't recognize it to be truthful with you i'm looking back on it now and i understand it and i see it for what it was um even though even then i didn't have a problem getting a man i was married until my husband passed away but even at i that wasn't it it wasn't that i couldn't get anybody or i was alone or i was lonely or anything like that it was me what I felt about myself has started to decline. And it was like I was extremely, starting to be extremely uncomfortable um, and self-conscious around everybody. My closest family and friends, they probably didn't know it, but I never wanted to go anywhere because I was no longer comfortable. I was self-conscious about everything. Like, when for me, when you are that big, you know you're big, but you don't feel how you look. So when you see it, it's like, oh my God. Like, you, you don't feel inside how you look. So I was extremely, extremely, extremely uncomfortable and self-conscious around my friends my best friend who's more like my sister i've known her my entire life her children 
my siblings who I know love me, even my parents, that's crazy, like my mother who I came from, I was no longer comfortable around any of those people. And sometimes my own children. And I just knew I couldn't live like that anymore. And like I got to the point where I didn't even want to keep myself up. Um, wasn't really getting my hair done the way I used to. Nothing going on with my nails. Um, wasn't buying myself anything. I just kind of wanted to stay home. I was going to church and staying home. Going to church and I still feel like I didn't keep myself up the way that I used to or the way that I should have, especially as a big woman. Um, but yeah, when when I got to be uncomfortable around the people that I know love me, that was it for me. That was my aha moment. Like, you absolutely have to do this. And I probably said these in the wrong order because that's what made me start to look into the surgery. Um, that along with the fact that I started to have the health issues. Um, yeah, it, it, it's crazy. And I'm sure that I don't know if they noticed it or not. I don't know. But when you are self-conscious and don't want to go around people that are your family and your closest friends because of how you look, it's time to make a change. And it's not going to be weight loss surgery for everybody. That's what it was for me. I needed that tool and it has changed my life. It's the best decision I ever made. Um, can't say I'll never regret it, but now a year and a month out, I still don't regret it. I didn't regret it the day of surgery, the day after. I've never regretted it once since this journey has started. So um, that's it. I just want to tell you all my why. That was my why. I wanted to be healthier. Of course, I wanted to look better, but it was more I just wanted to feel better and be better. And I am, and I'm so happy. I've I don't even know if I've ever been this happy in my life. And it's, it has a, a whole lot to do with this journey. A whole lot. So that's my why, guys. If you watch to the end of this video, like the video and leave me a comment telling me your why. Whether you have had surgery, you're on your journey to have surgery, or you're not even thinking about surgery you're on a natural weight loss journey or whatever the case is leave me a comment and tell me your why and um i will see you all in the next video